In this tutorial series, we are going to be creating a RPG leveling up system from scratch, where we will have required experience increasing overall an animation curve, and then a attribute system using a class and weighted randoms that will increase and take down and look really nice. So let's jump into it. Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. And before we get into the tutorial, believe it or not, this video is actually sponsored by Babbel. That's right, we have a very full sponsor and I'm delighted that it's Babbel. I've actually been using Babbel for a few months now. My partner's Spanish, so I've been working on trying to learn it for her. And also so I can actually have a conversation with my in-laws one day. This has actually been a back and forth battle I've been going through for years now. So trust me when I tell you that I have tried everything to try and learn Spanish. And I can honestly say Babbel is my favorite way to learn. And I'm not just saying that because of the sponsoring the video. The lessons are great. And in particular, the review section is an absolute game changer. If you're someone like me with the memory of a goldfish, I learn a word and I swear I forget it two seconds later, I'm an absolute disaster. I'm like, I'm like Father Dougal trying to learn how his perspective works. Okay, one last time. These are small, but the ones out there are far away. <laughs> Babbel is the number one language learning platform. And if you want to learn one of the 14 different languages to choose from, click the link below for 60% off. This means a ton to me and the channel, and it also gives me an excuse to tell my missus why I've been on the computer for all weekend. So yeah, if you click it and you're interested, I would really appreciate it, and thank you so much. So, leveling up a character. There are two parts to leveling up a character in an RPG, in your typical RPG. The first is the actual level, the experience, that was required to level up a character. So typically when a character levels up, the required experience for the next level increases, right? So you're leveling at a different rate every game. And there's three types of kind of curve that you would use to control this increase, right? First is a constant curve. So that means that every time you level up, it always increases the same amount. So let's say you start at 100, required XP, and then the next time it's 110, 120, 130, you get the gist. The second is a concaved curve, right? So it's like this kind of shape. And you can kind of translate that into leveling less early and more later in the game. And the inverse of that, a convex curve, which is this, is a is the other way around. So early on in the game, you would level up frequently, and then towards the end game, it gets harder and harder to level up. So the second part of a leveling system is the stats. So making your character stronger when they level up. Typically what you want to do with these types of games is you want to add a little bit of randomness to this because that way not every player chooses the exact same. And what happens is, so you would want to create something called a weighted random. So you have your minimum stat increase, your maximum stat increase, and then you would have a curve within, uh, within those ranges that would kind of give you a, a value based on your curve. So if your character had a high strength attribute, it, you would have a concave curve so that they are more likely to get kind of the higher end of the max in, rather than the lower end. And then inversely, if they had like a really shit speed, they would have a concave curve, so they're more likely to get that lower half. And that's pretty much it. We're going to, for this part of the story, we're going to focus on the leveling part of it because it's quicker. And then the second part, we're going to do the stats. So if you're here for us for the stats, make sure to hop over that video. It should be out alongside this. So yeah, cheers. Let's jump into it. So let's jump straight into it. This is our starting scene. If you want this scene, there's a GitHub project down below. Just click the link and you can download it and get started. And I've done a little bit of setup here for the sake of time. So this, it's a very simple scene. You can create it yourself if you want. You don't need to download the project. All we have is a two buttons, we have this experience bar, which is a few images and one filled image that we can then update within our code to have our correct experience level. And we have a character with an entity script attached. We have our level of buttons, our, le our buttons are calling the correct methods we want and a bunch of UI stuff, okay? And then within the code itself, we have, I have boilerplated out some functions that we need. So we have increased experience that we're going to write out. We need to be able to level up and we need to update our acquired experience. And I have the UI update here as well, which is just 
updating the text and that fill bar based on our experience and our acquired experience. <laughs> and then up here within our entity class, so an entity is basically going to be anything that can level up. In the case of this tutorial, just a character or character that, that we have on the screen. Every entity needs to have a level, their current experience, and their acquired experience for achieving the next level. And then our acquired experience is calculated within a level config, which is a scriptable object called level config that uses an animation curve. So the reason this is in a, a scriptable object and not just within the entity class itself is that every entity should follow the same rules. It, they should all have the same level config. So using a conf, using a scriptable object like this, every time you create a new entity, you don't have to set up the, the leveling again, basically. You, you just give every entity this object and they'll all follow the same rules, okay? So let's get started and let's jump into it with the entity class, okay? So let's start with level up. This is going to be really, really quick, really simple. In level up, we just need two lines of code, right? And that is all going to be level plus plus. Then once we level up, we need to get on new required experience. Super simple, right? And then required experience, we are going to use our level config to, to give us our new threshold for our next level up. So calculate experience is going to be required experience equals our level config, which is up here, and dot, we're going to call that get required experience method with level. Again, that's it. That's all we need for that. But also, we need to update our UI once that happens. So we need to make sure that our UI is reflecting what's going on. Another point about the UI, by the way, is that I have it here and I'm not covering it because it's not, I don't think it's that important. Here are the objects here as well. Ideally, you are going to want to have your own UI manager that will do this stuff for you. That's listening and calling this as well. For the sake of time and tutorial, I'm just doing it kind of like this, just for visuals, to have some kind of visuals on the screen. But yeah, ideally you'd be doing this somewhere else and not within the entity. Entities shouldn't be controlling the UI. The UI should be listening to what's happening within the entity. It doesn't matter, but but just 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 pointing that out that if you're starting from scratch, go ahead and do this. But eventually, you're going to want to change this to your own UI, uh, and however that's going to however that's going to work out. And then finally, we have the increase experience, which is the biggest method in this, but also very small. We have experience plus equals a value. So value is how much experience we have to gaining. Say we just want to battle, how much did we gain? And we want to update the UI so that the bar reflects that in increase. Then we want a we want to check if we've leveled up. Okay, so we're going to do an if experience is greater or equal to acquired experience. And then we don't want to just level up here. We we want to add in a while loop because in case we are able to level up more than once. So we're going to do a while loop, we're going to do experience is greater or equal to required experience. So that's what we just did. And then here we're going to do experience minus equals required experience. And then we level up. Okay. And that is for all purposes of this part of the tutorial, the entity is done. So when we press play, we're going to get our current required experience based on our current level and experience and all that kind of jazz. And then our buttons are going to control these two methods. Okay. And now we need to get our required experience bit done. So this is a bit of a complicated line. So I'm just going to write it out. And then afterwards, I'll, I'll kind of let you know what it does. Okay. We'll break, we'll break it down. So first is we're going to do mass F dot round to int. Okay. So we want to basically make it an int and not a float. Right. We don't want any decimals within it. And then we're going to do animation curve. We're going to evaluate it. And then within it, we're going to do another mat, mat F and dot inverse loop, inverse layer. Okay. And then we want the minimum possible level, which is zero. Okay. We want our maximum level, which is going to be set up here as a, in our, in our parameters. And we need our current level. And then after the evaluate, we are going to multiply that by our maximum required experience, which is also going to be set up here as a parameter. So what is this line doing? 
So inverse slurp is basically going to take our minimum, our maximum, and then give us a value based on our current value. Okay. So if zero, if our max level is let's say 100 and our level is 50, it'll give us back 0 0.5, which is right in the middle. Okay. And then evaluate, it will take a value between zero and one, right? So in, in that, my example, 0 0.5, and it will give us the value on that graph based on its look, position of that value between zero and one. So if I pass in 0 0.5, it'll give me the value for the exact center of the graph. Okay. Hope that makes sense. I'm going to do a demo now and we'll play around with the graph a little bit and you'll see, you'll see what I mean. And then finally, multiplying it by the required experience will just basically increase it to make it a correct number and not a value between zero and one. And from a coding perspective, this, this is done. Well, all, this is all done. This is everything you need for a good required experience duration. So let's jump over to Unity and let's play around with it, do a little demo and let's see how we, how we get on. So within my script with objects folder here, I'm going to do a right click, create level config. Don't worry about these script objects here. These are, I have all the parts here as well, by the way. So part one and part two are the finished versions. They'll be in the config as well, or in the GitHub as well. So if you see them feel and you get stuck, just go in and you can see what, what I'm doing differently there. Okay. Anyway, create script object level config and then over here we are going to set up a bar so we've got four good examples I've, I've explained this in the beginning of the video so we have a straight line which is the idea is that it would be a constant value now the thing is is that it's not really a straight line i know it looks straight but it's not really so it will change a little bit if you want to do an actual constant level up well you don't need and you don't need a graph for that right all you need is a hard-coded integer and then every time you level up, you just increase the required experience by that integer, right? So you just set it to 10 and increase it by 10 every time, right? You don't need any kind of complicated maths for that. And let's not forget about our max level and our max required experience. So let's say 100, or let's put it a little bit smaller, 50. And let's say 1,000 for the max level. So the idea is, is that this is the highest level you're going to get in your game. And... A thousand is going to be the amount of experience you need to go from 49 to 50 is the idea. Okay. And let's not forget as well, we need to attach that new level config to our entity and let's press play and hope I didn't forget anything. So level one, we need 20 experience. If I press the experience button, we see the bar increase to halfway. Level two is 40. So it's increasing by 20 every time. And let's see, it's a bit inconsistent the change I was talking about I've seen it go up by like instead of 20 to like 21 it's looking okay though so that's a good constant actually it's working out fine for us right now if you see something changing I have seen it being inconsistent well, so I'll just point that out and this still works as well great so that's a, that's a consistent level up okay which isn't that sexy we can do better than that we have two other three other examples here where we have our, our convex curve a concave curve and then we've got some kind of squiggly thing so the idea is in a convex curve is that you will level up quickly early on in the game and, a and it'll slow down as you get to the end game and then a concave curve is the opposite where we're going to be leveling up a lot at the end and not so often in the beginning okay well at least the, in the increase will be bit will be smaller in the beginning and higher in the end and then the inverse okay so let's just do this and play around with that. So we can see, I'll press play here. Level one is actually zero here. So you would need to play with this a little bit. I'll, let's increase by 10. We're now level four and we need six experience to level up. Five, we need 10 experience to level up. So we, the increase there was four more in experience. Four, I think it went up to six then. Yeah, so now it's increasing by, it's increased by six, six, eight. And now if I go, let's go up to 50, up to 40, let's say. So we're at 460 experience. When I press increase, it went up by, what was that? 22, 22, 22 experience, required experience. And you can see what I mean. Okay. And then inversely, let's switch that to this one. Now level one, we need 40 experience, which is a big difference between what we had before. It's increasing by a lot. 
so what was that what was that that was 36 just increased by and then let's go up to the end of level so but we still have five levels to go but there's only like 10 more xp needed before we hit the max so we press increase by four increase by two increase by two and then there we are okay and then we can keep going because i haven't done any limitations on the on this ui but i hope you can see what i'm trying to show you here it's it's going to boil down to what you want to know like they, they don't really matter right the numbers don't actually matter it's really how you want to play or the feel okay there's loads of videos and studies on this you know some games have really really big numbers and they make you feel strong some games like to keep it really really small numbers and it's really just up to you and your game design and what you want it to feel like and don't forget as well i'm using just to use the base examples but you can mess with this you know and change it so i just moved it up a little bit last time at that graph it said level one we needed zero experience to level up and now it says 11 and we can see the change it's a little bit so it's just however you want the important thing is that everyone's used the same rules from a technical perspective as long as everyone's using the same rules you won't have any problems so it's just about what you want your numbers to look like do you want them to be really big do you want them to be really small do you want them to be kind of somewhere in the middle it's up to you but from that perspective this tutorial is done <laughs> and i hope you, i hope i found that helpful and i wasn't rambling too much i know i rushed really quickly but you know this is a pretty simple concept and i want to, i didn't i just wanted to value your time i don't want to waste too much time thing. but yeah next part is going to be significantly more complicated with the stats increasing the leveling up the attributes so make sure to subscribe and like and wait for that to come out which should be coming out pretty much straight away after this one hopefully i haven't recorded it yet obviously so hopefully it comes out straight away but yeah that's it thank you so much join the discord down below check out tactics toolkit and check out babble <laughs> cheers guys bye see you